Over 90% of seniors in Canada live at home and want to stay home for as long as possible. Living at home means being able to get out of bed, use the toilet, get dressed, prepare meals. Daily activities that all of us do but can become more difficult as we age. To continue living at home, help may come in the form of family, friends, and home care. Home care, quite simply, is care that is delivered in the home rather than in a facility. In Ontario, publicly funded home care is organized through 14 home care agencies. Any individual can contact their local agency. Then, a care coordinator completes an assessment and plans the right mix of services to meet the individual's needs. The services are provided, and after every six months, a reassessment is done to ensure the service plan is current and appropriate. In 2013, nearly 700,000 Ontarians received some 38 million hours of publicly funded home care. Nearly three quarters of it was for help with personal support and homemaking. In other words, for activities such as getting dressed and making meals. Clearly, having access to help with these daily activities is essential to the well-being of many seniors. However, access to personal support may vary because each agency has their own guidelines for service planning. We can see how receiving too little support may negatively affect the caregiver and the individual. But the same can be said if someone receives more than enough support because that leaves other individuals to share a smaller pool of their remaining resources. The goal of my research is to work with stakeholders to create a standard guideline for deciding if and how much personal support to provide. The result is the personal support algorithm. The algorithm uses items from the clinical assessment to score an individual's need for personal support. In practice, the care coordinator will also consider the individual circumstances, like whether they have a family member available to provide help and adjust the hours accordingly. Thus, use of the algorithm promotes individual flexibility because personal support services will very closely match the level of need. The algorithm can also be used at the population level. Once all agencies adopt a standard definition of need, it will be possible to check if every Ontarian has the same access to personal support regardless of where they live. With more research, I also hope to examine whether the amount of service currently provided by agencies is actually enough to keep seniors at home. This research will have a very real impact on the health of Ontarians. Each individual will get the personal support help that they need and every individual will benefit from a sustainable system that makes the best use of home care resources.